Hello everyone, this is the start of Clock Tower 3 now, as you can see. And again, I'm here with Lacey, who is in high spirits, if you know what I mean. Hey guys! She's trying to pull off a sober attitude. Well, she's actually doing it pretty good. But she's fine, we're all fine, it's pretty late, but we're going to go ahead and get started on a new game. Now, I'm pretty sure, now just for all, all of y'all that don't know, this is mostly a horror survival game, from what I know, but it's it has a pretty good story, I think, for the most part. How have you been? I think of you every day. It seems such a long time since you started your life at boarding school. It was after your beloved grandfather went missing while traveling three years ago that I sent you away to boarding school and told you not to come back for at least six years. Without <laughs> Why did six years don't ever come back? Is that pretty much what she said? Yeah, in six years you'll have grown out of your ugly duckling stage. <laughs> oh, she's not ugly. Apparently her mom thought so. Don't come back until <laughs> six years. I know that what I'm saying will make no sense to you, but please, just Look at their eyes. And they're supposed to be English, right? They have kind of an Asian slant to them. Mom. Alyssa, you're watched on the telephone. It's your mother. Hello? Mom? Hello? Are you there? I think she sees dead people. Uh oh. <laughs> Would you? I didn't see the messenger that told her her mom was on the phone with her, and so far I haven't oh. seen any other people. So therefore, that girl is like, Alyssa, you're watching on the telephone. It's your mother, so she must be a ghost. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> mom, I'm back. Is it your 15th birthday yet? Did you break the rules? You're going to be Mom. severely punished now. See? <laughs> That's what that music means. Severe punishment is coming up. Now, she's probably my kind of girl so far. She packs real light. Like me. Yeah, I guess like Lacey, maybe. <laughs> I, I pack a lot. I, I mean, I do. I just, I don't know why. I feel like I may have to have something, but I'll never use it. I'm just weird like that. I am too, but I'm able to pack it in a small bag. Um, excuse me. What are you doing in my house? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm Lisa. Nancy's Do, do the British, do they use 911? Okay, whatever it is they call. I don't know. <laughs> okay, obviously they have phones. So right about now, I would be calling <laughs> the authorities and being like, some pervert just grabbed me. I don't know where he went. But oh. could you please come take him away? Okay. If you can't tell, we are controlling. What's her name, Alyssa? Yeah. Yeah. So let's look around the house since we're obviously not using the option to call the police. What's this? Dude, don't degrade it. It's a mansion, not a house. Oh, a mansion. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, this is where we can save our game. Uh, I'm going to try my best to do that off-screen if I can. And what's this? A strange pattern adorns the jar. It is brimming with fresh water. Yummy. Uh, they must be Roman Catholic. <laughs> what if they're just thirsty a lot? Oh, well, then the water gets stale. Does water get stale? I guess it gets stale. I don't know. It gets stagnant. Stagnant. Not stale. Uh, let's look over here. The door says, Alyssa, must be her room. Yay. Oh my goodness. She runs real slow. 
Dude, she's a girl. But she's it? gonna run slow. And Lacey, as always, being sexist for her own sex. I am. I'm sorry. Girls are weenies. <laughs> I'm less of a weenie, but that's you know. Cause, but I guess she can hold her liquor a little bit better, so we'll give her that. <laughs> what was? Why? Thank you. By the way, what we picked up on the desk was called lavender water. I've always wondered what <laughs> lavender smells like. What does it smell like? Purple. Purple. <laughs> okay, what smells red? Roses. Mm. <laughs> okay. It's this door. It's Although. it's locked. Great. Although I do think yellow roses and red roses have a slightly different smell. Okay. Just ever so slightly. What's this? Bad. Oh, goodness. Ow. It looks like it hurt her hand. Now, she didn't scream. You gotta give her that. What's this? The panic meter. Well, it is from house. Uh... Um, I'm not gonna read that. I give you all a second to read that for yourself. Um, the panic meter reading will go down slowly if Alyssa relaxes in safe mode. Always keep an eye on the panic meter. Okay. So that's what that thing is on the top left, I'm assuming. If it fills up, something bad happens. So, because we're a girl, we don't have health. We just have a panic meter. Because we're weenies that way. <laughs> and just like in olden oh. times, if we panic too much, we'll faint. Well, that's, I get olden times, maybe that's just movie Hollywood stuff. And the fire went out over here in the fireplace. Um, oh, convenient. We can crawl with circle. I've lived here forever, but I totally didn't know this random hole behind the fireplace existed. Well, I think we can figure out that her mother's been keeping secrets from her. Oh, God. Ew. She's crying blood. No, it's not. It's red wine. You should know all about that. She thought the same thing. And, and it's not wine. It's red rum. Rum. Okay. And... Which backwards spells murder. A bottle with a letter. A sacred bottle. Okay. Mm. Nancy's letter. Oh... Lacey, will you do the honors? Oh, I will do my best. Okay. Dearest Alyssa, I wanted nothing more than for you to live peacefully. But if you are reading this now, you must have come back to the house. For your protection, I am giving you some advice, as well as instruction on how to use this bottle of holy water. Oh, sorry, Paige. <laughs> <laughs> One, exorcism. If you are ever threatened, sprinkle some holy water on your assailant. Or your friend Emily. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> it will cause them to halt temporarily. Two, destroying... Sigils. Sigils. <laughs> like the penguin. Oh, God, no. <laughs> it was funny, you know it. Go. To break the seals that prevent access to certain places, sprinkle holy water on them. That's what she said. Well, I think... Well, we get the point, and we can re okay, we can refill at sacred jars or oh, lion drinking fountains. fountains. So that's what that jar full of water was it's for. It's not a fountain; it's a fountain. Fountain. <laughs> so you went from like a sophisticated English accent to like Cockney in a split second. I'm counted that way. Sentimental items and spirits. A person who has died of unnatural causes has unfinished business in the living world. In order to protect yourself, you must work to heal their wounds. To do so, you must find the sentimental item. Great. Lastly. This is all my fault, but I will do my best to protect you. Please remember that I love you more than anything else in the world, and I always will. Mum. <laughs> I love mum. I know, it's so... It's, it rhymes with rum, right? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Totally does. <laughs> but it just feels so lovingly when you say mum. <laughs> okay. Now we have something new on the top left. It says three. I'm assuming that's how many... Uh, yeah, that's right. That's how many holy waters we have. And we can destroy sigils, which I'm assuming this is what this is. So 
going to throw holy water on it with um, triangle. Vanquish the sigil. Oh my. Yeah, that would have not felt good if it hit you. Okay. What's this? The restroom. Oh, someone's behind the door, and it's pounding. Someone's behind the door. Someone's got explosive diarrhea. Uh-oh. Nancy. Who's Na- Nancy? Nancy is her mother. Mm. Look oh, around wait. here. Oh, a glowy thing on the desk. 